What if I told you that on this day, November 22, 1977 humans proved that commercial passengers could outrun the sound barrier and land in New York before their own shadows caught up? This is the story of the Concorde's first regular transatlantic service to NYC, a moment when aviation briefly jumped decades ahead of the rest of technology. But here's the twist, this flight almost never happened. For months, US officials banned Concorde from landing in New York. Noise protests. Sonic boom fears. Lawsuits. Environmental battles. The future was being held hostage by public panic. And yet, engineers, diplomats, and aviation giants kept pushing. They argued, how can we call ourselves pioneers? If we're afraid of speed. Finally, on November 22, 1977, the ban was lifted. At 11.09 a.m., Concorde sliced through cold autumn air, descending toward JFK with its delta wings gleaming like a silver arrow from another timeline. When its wheels touched the runway, something historic happened, the world's first supersonic passenger service to America became real. Passengers had boarded in Europe. And arrived in New York in barely over three hours. A flight that rewrote geography. But the triumph didn't last. Rising costs. Regulations. Fuel crises. And later. Tragedy. By 2003, Concorde was gone. Yet for a brief moment on this day the future of flight wasn't imagined. It was experienced. And every supersonic project today stands on the echo of Concorde's first roar over New York.